Hello everyone, I'm Tequila Sunset, and today we got a fun battle between the forces of the dwarves and the forces of the demons of chaos. Should be a pretty fun scrap here, we'll see who uh, wins out. Looks like we got a couple very aggressive builds here, so it should be a fun scrap. Top side, we got four Chaos Furies of Corn uh, for the demon, uh, Demons of Chaos. We also have a couple Fiends of Sinesh here. The Fiends are very, very strong. That's not perfect most, keeping a very nice contact effect. But with their speed and their damage output, they are very, very good. And their animations are kind of funky and sort of evasive in a way, which actually makes them deceptively tanky in combat for a Slaneshi unit. In the front line, we got a bunch of Blood Letters of Corn. Looks like four of them ready to deal out some uh, armor-piercing anti-infantry damage. Look at those beautiful models with those big old great swords. And uh, for our caster, we got Alurus of Slaanesh with uh, Locus of Swiftness for that uh, charge and speed buff. We also have Lash of Slaanesh and Pavane of Slaanesh for those rampages. And uh, top side, we got our Lord. It's going to be an Exalted Blood Luster, Blood Thurster, excuse me, the Slaneshi uh, confused me. Uh, she's com He's coming in here with that Deathbringer for that weapon strength buff. Should be pretty cool to see him in action. For our Dowie forces here, we got a huge uh, Slayer-focused army here. It's going to be very, very fun. we got a bunch of just regular Slayers, the Dual Axe Anti-Large variant. We have a couple Slayer Pirates here, one of them being the ROR, Long Drawn Slayer Pirates. They themselves have that uh, minus 10 melee attack debuff, which is actually quite solid we also have i think where are you yes we have the brotherhood of grimnir the doom seeker ror here looking mighty beautiful on their models and yeah just incredible combat sets really good hp especially with the 32 models it's going to take so long to just kill a single model of these dudes and they just have a ton of damage output and their stats means like even against like large stuff they're going to do very well so very very cool unit here our leadership we got a proper hero hammer going here felix jaeger coming in here for that a steady healing or wait hold on a second there wait where's the there it is, the Blood Oath for some steady healing for his uh, buddies coming in here. We also have, as our Lord, Ungrim Iron Fist, the Slayer King coming in with Heroic Killing Blow, Red Ruin, and Axe of Darko going all in on the damage buffs. And also his son, father and son fighting together, Garagrim Iron Fist here. Unlike his father, though, very rebellious. He's going in anti-infantry instead of anti-large. And uh, But yeah, that Axis of Kadrin is a very big buff as well, a damage buff as well. And that um, Hurricane and Death is decent, but where is the, yeah, the War Mourner. This is the one I wanted to show. It's a damage spike and a 55 meter AOE constant one, and it also imbues magical attacks, which against all these demon armies basically is just uh, bypassing that 20% physical resistance that all of them get, which is going to be quite nice for them. And with that said, let's get this battle going and see how it goes. So far, the Slayer Pirates get some shots off onto those unshielded and lightly armored blood letters. They themselves do magic damage as well, so they are bypassing all of that physical resistance and getting some really good damage off on the jump. So, pretty solid stuff for the Dowie there. I should mention that. Um, Oh, never mind, those just look like regular stars. Sorry, I get confused sometimes by the uh, unit cards. But the Doomseekers charging in here. Gonna get the fight with the Blood Letters. Gonna be very, very cool. Both of these guys are anti-infantry by design, but the Blood Doomseekers just have them so outmatched. They're gonna chop them to bits. Already those Blood Letters down below half HP, especially with Garagrim and his father in there on the fight. However, that Blood Seeker, Bloodthirster is trying to snipe out Felix here. Already got him down to close to half HP. Very, very rough start for, for him. Uh, just a lone human on this battlefield, not having a great time. Slayers, however, did move in here to try to help them out and try to get some fight onto those uh, that uh, Bloodthirster. Meanwhile, on the flanks, these Slayers got beat to hell by those Furies and those Fiends, and now they're going to be squeezing in to try to do battle on that end. And those Furies also going to be piling in onto those Slayer Pirates to try to keep them from uh, firing those shots in there. So very, very solid stuff from them. Bloodthirster has taken a lot of damage from those Slayers, but he is still holding on, and he's going to be able to cycle charge back in. That Allurus does not look long for this world. She is surrounded by Doomseekers, and she is on foot, of course, so their anti-infantry buff is going to come in. Felix Jaeger got a little parting shot off onto her. She's only down to 1100 HP. She needs to be very conservative for this fight. And just stay away, use your magic, and uh, just, yeah, cast those spells from a distance. Try to keep yourself safe. Really want to watch out for those uh, pistol fire as well. That's really the big threat to her. Otherwise, Felix Jaeger again be, looks like he's getting terror routed, sniped out. Unfortunate for him. Meanwhile, Garagrim is chilling here with his Slayer support, just grinding down these blood letters, getting some solid work done into them, although they themselves are punching back pretty solidly. And now the Fiends, the Fiends, this whole battle have just been bouncing around from place to place. Been such a terror, uh, just trying to get, uh, just getting whatever work they can get done. And uh, they are pretty beat up for there. These ones almost at 50%. These ones are at about third HP, which isn't great for them. Balance of power slightly in the favor of the Dwarves, especially with their hero core. Uh, their lord, lord with uh, Ungrim and his son in still in good shape, so they have a lot holding on here. And uh, Felix is getting sniped out, which isn't great for them. That's taking away their healing, but um, 
At this point, part of you wants to get worried about what's going to kill those uh, single entities here, especially because that uh, Bloodthirster is running a bit low in HP. For example, Ungrim has the same amount as him right now, and uh, he doesn't have any healing available to him. It's not like they took a Nurgle caster. Uh, so, yeah, curious to see how that one goes. However, the Fiends are still online, and as long as they're online, really, you have a... Uh, do have a fighting chance here if you're the demons, even if the dwarves are a little bit ahead on the balance power. Although now it's starting to creep back a little bit here. The demons of chaos being very scrappy, really uh, just putting this fight in. Now that bloodthirster looks like he gets a couple big shots onto Garagrim right in a row. Gets some really good work done. Got him down to 3,000 HP here. Gets another fat shot onto him while Deathbringer is active. Beefing up his weapon strength big time. He himself is not having a good time here. He needs to get the hell out of there as his Papa, Papa Ungrim is coming in here trying to peel for him. And now that Bloodthirster is going to pull away. But he does have that mobility advantage. And the balance power is starting to move ahead in the favor of the Demons of Chaos. And, um... Yeah, I think they might have this one. They have... If they play their cards right with just cycle charging, they have the mobility advantage here. There's no reason why they should be, um... Like, uh, keeping these fiends stuck in combat for any longer than they need to. And the Furies, the good thing for them is that they are infantry size, so the Slayers can't really take advantage of their lar anti-large, which is going to be helpful for them. But yeah, Fiends charge back in, getting damage onto the Slayers bit by bit, and that Bloodthirster is probably going to want to focus on Garagrim, try to get what work he can, and uh, just snipe him out. And uh, yeah, should be able to get some good work. Gets a big shot onto him, down to 1500 HP. Ungram is doing his best to try to defend his son, gets a shot right onto that Exalted Bloodthirster's knees, and uh, trying to move in, although he gets kind of dragged away out of there, it's very funny. So yeah, trying to help out and uh, get whatever damage you can done. If they can, actually that fecundity is a big one. That's the only ability that comes in here. It's more or less random for the Demons of Chaos. But yeah, getting a fecundity there so you can get some healing on that Bloodthirster might be what the Demons of Chaos needed here to try to seal the deal here. Especially because that does kind of spread onto some of the other units as well. So the Fiends should have gotten some healing as well. Very, very timely for the uh, them. The Dark Gods certainly came through. Otherwise, yeah, the Slayers are very, very beat up. There's a lot of red flags here for the Dwarves, but there are those bars underneath them, very, very low, and they are not in great shape right now. Looks like the, uh, the Bloodthirster is charging back in here. He smell, smells blood. He's just breathing his fire onto Garagrim, and Garagrim is on the brink of death here, and down he goes. Garagrim is done for. Ungrim is the only thing healthy for the Dwarves here, and he is going to do his best to try to drag this out, of course. Being the Slayer King, he is unbreakable, but we will see if he has enough lead in his pencil to be able to take this one down. Because, yeah, there's a lot. Yeah, the Fiends who are still online, going to be able to cycle charge uh, them. And then that Bloodthirster himself still has a decent amount of HP left to try to cycle charge in here. We will see if the um, if the Dwarves are able to kill these Fiends, then that's going to be big. Because that forces the Bloodthirster to stay in the fight. So we'll see if he can hold on here or how well Ungram... Although, actually, holy shit, he took two big fat hits in a row. That Deathbringer is acting, beefing up that weapon strength. And now Ungram himself is basically the same HP as the Bloodthirster... Which, uh, yeah, damn, that that cycle charge, that back charge right there was huge. Um, that basically just like completely uh, equalized their HP. And now he, yeah, gets another big hit that just really showing how big mobility is for the Demons of Chaos here as they just getting, uh, yeah, that Bloodthirst is putting this battle on his back as he is just bodying Ungrim, uh, just like ca kicking his ass every time he charges in there. He may be, like, he hasn't taken a hit in both of those cycle charges. And Ungrim went from full health down to like 40%, now down to about a third with that Doom Bolt coming in here. Just absolutely brutal. And yeah, the forces of the Dark Gods, it looks like they are going to be taking the day as Ungram is uh, just brought down right onto Death's door here. Only 491 left, 397 HP left. Next hit should be his last if he takes it down to 309. And there we go. Down goes the Slayer King. He finds the doom. He has found the doom that he has sought for so long. And now just you just have some tattered Slayers left fighting on like the brave uh, Dowie that they are. But now they are toast. And the Demons of Chaos will be taking the win. Yeah, really good battle there. Very fun stuff there. Awesome stuff to see. And uh, yeah, if you're a Dwarf hater, I guess you probably enjoyed this fight because you got a good scrap and you saw the Dwarves lose. So, you know, it's a win-win for you. But looking at our values here, holy shit, 4,100 uh, damage dealt as gold value for that Bloodthirster and uh, 16,000 dealt just raw HP damage. Fantastic stuff. Really putting the battle on his back and just bodying this hero squad and also getting some good work done on the rest of these elements here. That Allurus had a bit of a rough time in the beginning but still was able to just get some decent work done over the course of the battle. Bloodletters had a rough time, I think. So one of you paid for yourselves. One of you got close to paying for yourselves, but the other two had a rough time. And uh, the Furies, how'd you guys do, buddy? Yeah, Furies overall did pretty solid here. This guy didn't pay for themselves, but the other ones did a solid. Range from decent to very good, especially this guy. And the Fiends themselves, yeah, Fiends did very good. It's actually, like, surprising when I see Fiends not pay for themselves. I'm genuinely shocked when I see it, because... These guys are so damn good. Even without healing support in this battle, um, they still did fantastic work. And if you paired them with like a um, Nurgle caster or something like that, they can just do great work. 
Otherwise, going on to the dwarves here, Ungrim did his best, but unfortunately, those cycle charges from that bloodthirster were just too much for him to handle. Garagrim himself actually did fare a bit better than his dad. Uh, Felix Jaeger had a really rough time with things. Only human on the battlefield, and he just got fucking bodied. And the uh, Slayers got some really good work done. These ones did all right, but these two, fantastic. 1755, 1248 damage value from them. And the brothers of Grimnir doing Grimnir proud, and uh, 1579 damage from them. Fantastic stuff. And the Slayer Pirates, how did you guys do? They did all right. Not quite paying for themselves but still doing some decent damage so yeah well done to both players a really fantastic battle here and hopefully you guys enjoyed that if you did please do consider leaving a like and subbing to the channel it's greatly appreciated if you do and with that said i will see you guys later you guys take care